to another commentary done by Diggity. I figured, uh, hopefully this doesn't do the black screen, I dropped Chippa's emote that he dropped in Scream from Noxina, which is the derp in the bottom right-hand corner, which felt appropriate after the first game. Go ahead and remove that now. Upper left-hand corner we have, whoop, went black screen again. Upper left-hand corner we have Gauss starting as the blue Protoss. Upper right-hand corner we have Gauss, or uh, Dewlife starting as the green Terran. I believe this is on Vermeer. This is on Vermeer. I believe Dewlife going to be a little bit... Well, we'll see if he respects the DT play this time. But round one. Quick win for Gauss. And I, having him see that, uh, seen that done twice, I wonder if that's just going to be his opener in these best of threes. Just, or at large. Versus Terran opponents. Again, dropping Pylon and going for a quick scout with that probe. Dewlife sniffs something that's up. I'm a little bit shocked that he didn't decide to go the engineering bay preventatively or mines in front of the base because he he had a sense of it you know anyway one game wiser i would be surprised to see him fall in a similar manner on this match quick gateway with probes with a handful of minerals for gauss also checking out that bottom left is he going to send out a second scout He's definitely up to something if he's sending out yet another scout. Is he going to try the same thing again? I think he's maybe again hoping... Uh, this time I'm thinking he's maybe hoping to pull off Gateway into Nexus. Even though he's dropped the Assimilator already. But he definitely wants to get the early scout versus do life here. As he's got the double scouts moving out. Usually this is indicative of... Because that's a lot... The more probes you pull off earlier, the more minerals you lose kind of collectively. It's kind of a snowball effect. So the probe able to get interior to the base. He's got this probe now bottom right. We'll see if he goes for proxy tech once again. I mean, it was so successful game one. But I would be shocked if he just absolutely... If he just goes for it again. Maybe he's going to go for, for robotics this time. Initial ring being constructed. You do have three SCV in gas. First scout for that SCV once again. The other thing you could do is he could just drop a pylon here and build nothing else. Just to play mind games with do life. And then force an economic delay by having him build the engineering bay and kind of all that other fluff. <clears throat> but right now, the SCV again sees that lack of second pylon, which has to be frustrating for him. And we'll see if it does end up being another Citadel of Vadoon. Yeah, another Citadel of Vadoon. He's going to go for the exact same build again. I would be against another player. I would say, okay, maybe it would be executed Easily, I would be shocked, though, to see Dewlife lose again to the exact same build. Especially <coughs> after the adjustments, you gotta know that were made. Because it's not like you didn't see it coming, you just didn't adjust properly. Fake weapons won. And again, a probe acting like it's gonna go for a fast nexus at the natural expansion. I can't imagine that Dewlife's gonna fall for it again, though. Three Marines out in the field. Let's see if he drops a machine shop immediately. Yeah, Machine Shop immediately this time before Vulture. Scooting out is going to go ahead and grab his natural expansion. Are we going to see another Templar Archives? Also, the Dragoon... Oop. The Dragoon managed to get the SCV kill. A Gateway and a Templar Archives off location. Bring the HUD back up. And are we going to see Mines researched immediately by New Life? That's the other aspect. Initial Vulture, <coughs> I would, especially after game one, yeah, I would research mines immediately. So there's mines. He does have his natural expansion under construction now. The Dragoon starting to make its way up. Bunker's complete. Marines now in that bunker. The other indicator here is it's going to be, there is that time indicator where the Dragoon doesn't go up and start attacking that bunker. And so you know that range hasn't actually been upgraded. One critical thing is, is, yeah, that Dragoon needs to get pushed off the front to open up that Vulture to go ahead and drop mines defensively. Mines not yet quite done. The Dragoon waiting in the wings. That'll be in an engineering bay, so being extra careful this time. First Dark Templar on the way. A Forge as well. And maybe a Proxy Nexus <coughs> at the bottom right. That's kind of the read I'm getting from Gauss right this second. Yeah, so there's an initial DT, but this might now turn into more of a DT defensive build. 
Natural expansion is up. This will be an economic lead for do life. We do have the mines in the way. <coughs> Vultures cleared that Dragoon, but the Dragoon able to clear a critical mine. Now it's a question of pathing, and there are two Dark Templar making their way towards the front. And there's only three mines. One Dark Templar holding short. Yeah, angling around the Vulture. Trying to find a path. They, yeah, doing a nice split. And again, okay, this time, able to halt that turret construction at the natural expansion. Able to sneak in, and he's done it again. Gauss being a menace. This time, one of the DTs gets taken out by some mines. More DTs making the way, but this is definitely going to interrupt that natural expansion. Another turret attempting to be constructed, but another Dark Templar right there. To, and mind dragging even this has got to be so frustrating for do life if do life if this is do life's tournament life he's going to be especially losing to the same build two games in a row that's got to be frustrating vision from the high ground additional mines being planted he's not out of it yet but this has still got to be infuriating vulture hanging out the natural expansion trying to do what damage it can Vultures making the way down. The Dark Templar has five kills still lurking there, and we are seeing a proxy in Nexus bottom right. Dark Templar clearing out that Vulture to maybe grab a quick third Nexus. More mines out on the front. The command center under attack. DT still racking up kills. No commsat station. And no mine coverage yet. Okay, now... Okay, now able to wipe out the Dark Templar. We have one mine blockading. This Dark Templar <coughs> holding the ramp. <coughs> but Dulife still has to be furious. Finally able to establish that turret on his front. He's actually not in a terrible economic position. A cannon being warped in. Now range being built. We have that Nexus being constructed bottom right with more Dark Templar. Let's see if Dulife does a continuation with a uh, some sort of factory push grabbing speed and I don't know that Gauss will be able to counter that as he's been running on two gateways but at staggered locations for quite some time photo cannon and that nexus being dropped bottom right turrets here but there's no units to defend it and it's not getting repaired so that vision is going to collapse once again and that Dark Templar now getting additional kills at the natural as do life distracted, able to take out a Dragoon, but not a lot else. Another turret being built. Oh, do life. You can see the, the rage through the screen and more Dark Templar filtering in. It looks <coughs> at least mine's able to clear out what's there. Gauss really going. Uh... I don't know who who the ultimate Protoss arc, uh, icon is. But whoever that is, Gauss is making... Maybe Gauss is it. Gauss making them proud right now with this Dark Templar play. <coughs> Invisible man, I tell you. Also, mining bottom right. Dulife is still up on workers, but only mining on one base. The command center is in flames, waiting to recapture that natural expansion. Let's see if the vultures are able to discover that additional base. The Zealot able to wipe out three mines, right? Four mines with a single Zealot, which feels worthwhile. No mobile detection as of yet. Still just two factories for Dulai, finally grabbing that academy. The Vultures still haven't found bottom right. Gauss still hasn't had a worker lead despite all of this. Trading Vultures for Dragoons here at the Natural. Looks like additional gateways are in construction. We have the robotic facility, the observatory also being built. The Dark Templar waiting. Oh, and that command center needs to be repaired. Dark Templar now waiting to go ahead and sneak right back out and get additional kills, but a siege tank has some detection here. And it looks like that'll be that DT's... Well, maybe not. I was going to say that could be it, but a little bit of a tap left on that turret. Finally. So much trouble. The Vulture is about to discover bottom right, potentially. The Dragoon trying to push that barracks off of that natural expansion. I'm not sure if the vultures are bugging out <coughs> because of that DT bottom right or not. Third factory down for Dulife. He's floating a lot of resources right now. And I think that is part of 
just being aggravated. We have four gateways up for Gauss. He's even on supply, which technically puts him behind, but he has gained the worker lead. Cannon's being dropped bottom right. I'm wondering if a commsat... Okay, now the commsat's gone off to discover what's being built here. The siege tank's going to try to chew through this pylon wall. Maybe an additional Dark Templar or two could save that. Dragoon's now moving towards that natural expansion using the distraction bottom right. And do like just filtering out troops getting aggressive. Going to drop two more factories. And yeah, I think he just wants to end it here with additional pressure. I don't know if siege check is finished yet either. There is that single cannon. I don't think it'll range though to defend all of the these holdings. And that gateway is remaining silent. So it looks like Gauss is actually going to go ahead and sack what's here. Maybe going for a counterattack. Their mines towards the front. He does have an observer. Some vultures are going to sweep out and discover it. Let's see if the dragoons try to support bottom right. There is a mine in the way. This number of dragoons does not beat this many siege tanks and vultures, particularly with that mine between point A, point B, and reinforcements being closer to Dulife's side of the map. But Gauss in trouble now. Way down on supply. You got an angry, angry Dulife. You just. Yeah, the cannon unpowered. Going to go ahead and ransack that. A scattering of mines, so it's going to take a long time for these Dragoons to go ahead and push the way through. A Dark Templar has been produced. As soon as it gets an initial slice, though, now it's the timing of the of the comp set. Does... There it is. Quickly wiped out. Another Dark Templar trying to be constructed preventatively. Gauss just trying to be... Trying to harass his opponent into a winning position now. The Dragoon's not going to be able to make their way up. I don't think this next is going to be saved. We don't have any additional mines, however. And a Dark Templar might be able to sneak up and at least get a Siege Tank. Natural Expansion being built and some distance mining happening for Gauss. He's down to 23 workers, however. And Dulight <coughs> continues to pour the troops out. Out of the five factories that he has constructed. Working on that pylon, a Dark Templar sneaking out. The Shadow getting wiped out. This has to be, this has to feel good for do life right here, wiping out what was the pocket. He can just leave all this if he wants to, maybe. Gauss doing continual Protoss things. It looks like he's just going to try to take a quick third. Honestly, he should probably GG at this stage. Because do life in a moment is going to move out with the troops he's got, and it's going to be an overwhelming attack force. And I just don't see him out of three gateways without, never mind, what... So trying to grab a third, and he's done a quick tech to, to Carrier. He's doing all the Protoss things. <coughs> Every last Protoss. DT proxy Nexus into Carrier. I love it. I love it. Now it's a question of timing. Does Gauss buy himself enough time to get the critical mass of Carriers? Do life wiping out what's left. He is constructing Goliath. It looks like he's going to go ahead and get a starport of his own, maybe to filter in some <coughs> Wraith as well. Third base being built by Gauss. Again, I do not think he... I still don't think he's going to be able to defend it. 40 supply down. And a good chunk of that supply is in carriers that are not yet on the field. Another there's Citadel of a Dune being dropped. Interceptor is also being researched. Lone DT hanging out midfield and honestly do life could attack and expand simultaneously right here working on plus one weapons making sure that all the additional bases are covered found that shimmer wiped it out and is now proceeding first carrier is out and is building interceptors we do have three goliaths one of them is heavily damaged. Sorry, four Goliaths. One of them is heavily damaged. Plus one weapons is going to kick online in not too long. I think at this stage, Gauss has finally been caught. A bit overextended. The Dragoon's going to get wiped out. The single carrier is not going to be sufficient. A cancel of that Nexus. The carriers are just walking their way now. Straight to do life space to try to, I don't know, draw <coughs> some of these units back. Starport is there, remain silent. The Goliaths can just peel off and do what they're going to do right there. Gauss refusing to GG at this stage. Honestly, this should be... At this stage, there should have been a GG, especially after everything he's put do life through, but... Going to try to hold it. We have we do have the Charon booster upgrade. There's GG well played. 
Oof. What a game. All right, so we're side one apiece. We're going to go into game three, and we'll see if there's more DTs. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for listening.